What's going on, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, kid. Back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. Today is a freaking awesome day. I'm super excited to be trying these um, exceedingly good cakes. I guess that yeah, that's the slogan, baby, from Mr. Kipling. And we got a treat today, guys. I'm really excited for this one. Um, shout out to my boy, Lost. Thank you so much for this. So... What do we have here today, boys and girls? We got three, and we'll try one of each, and then we'll kind of see which one we, you know, we leaning to, which one we're rocking with, guys. And if you tried any of these, that's going to be something I want to know in the comments down below. So our first one that we got, we'll show you all three, and then we'll just kind of dive into it. So we got Mr. Kipling's Six Deep Filled Mince Pies, guys. So, um, you know, we're trying to get on that festive spirit. We also have, okay, okay, so, uh, well, yeah, retract one. One of them says Morrison's, guys. My bad. Six ice mince pies, rich in fruity mince meat in a short crust pastry cake topped with icing. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. And last but not least, uh, <laughs> voice crack there, <laughs> is Mr. Kipling's six festive bake wells. These look real there we go these look really good and we're going to save this one for last we're going to save this one for last so we have tried the cherry bake wells and um we will say we're on the battenbergs so that was pretty much our experience with mr kipling and um it didn't disappoint we liked both of them definitely the cherry bake wells is really good i like the battenbergs i know it was a mixed crowd response but um we enjoyed it so I do have my little Burger King tray because I'm sure I'm going to make a mess, guys. All right, so let's see. So, yeah, 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 because I can see the crumbs all over. So this is the, uh, yeah, the deep-filled mince pie. So we're going to make a mess, guys. It is what it is, guys. And let's see if we like this one, guys. We're definitely going to need another bite because the first bite that we took, guys, was mostly the crust. I'm only tasting the crust, so we need to get a little bit deeper inside. Got to go really inside. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not, I didn't read the box, so that's something I should have probably did to kind of have an idea which one this, this one is or what it tastes like. I haven't pegged it yet. But some sort of like jam for sure. I don't know, but it's pretty darn good. Let's see if we can see the box. We are making a mess. It's all good, though. Let's see. Let's see if we get a hint because we have no clue, guys. Oh, shit. That's a lot of crumbs, guys. Uh, Let's see. So, it's sprinkled with sugar. So, sugar, Bramley apple puree, some raisins. Okay, so I definitely would stay in the apple, a little bit of the raisins, but... <laughs> this thing definitely makes a mess. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> Damn, we got our work cut out for us. But I like it. It's not bad. Um, But let's see. Let's see how our taste buds advance with the next one. We're going to try the icing one. We'll see which one is our favorite. Unfortunately, yeah, we made a crazy freaking mess here. Hold up. Let's put that over here. So we have the ice mint spice. And I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. Uh, just even for the iced on it. So let's open this bad boy up. Now, I did uh, want to correct myself before. It does say on the top of it, vegetarian. And I I did read wrong. I'm, I usually do read wrong. So I thought they were all Kipling. So uh, I was wrong on that. This one is Morrison's since 1899. So it's got that 
cherry bakewell look just off of looking at it but without the cherry of course and it's gonna be different you let me know are you a fan of the ice mince pies from morrison's show you how it looks guys icing is gonna be dope oh shit making a mess guys god damn oh god i'm making a mess all good Mm. I like this one better with the icing and the mints. It's a nice combo right here. This one is really, really good. Mm. Man, with these type of snacks, it's going to be hard not to make a mess. Um, but yeah, that icing topping on it. Really good. We're destroying this one. This will not last long past today. Hands down. Mm. It is going to have the only sugar rush right here, guys. Holy crap. This one was really good. So far, Morris is in the lead with that one. And the last one we got. Mm-hmm. Bakewell's uh six festive one, so this should look very similar to the other one. Let me get open that shite. Hope everyone has been having a nice holiday. Just want to say really quickly, happy and healthy for the new year. Hope you guys had all a great Christmas. It's been one hell of a ride. This is kind of really cute, really cute. Get a little bit of it. Boy. Yeah, there is no way not to make a mess, guys. Hell no. Mm. God, man. I don't know. I'm just a fan of icing on, on snacks. This is really good. I believe it's cherry. I don't know if it's cherry. But whatever the hell it is, it's freaking good. Mm. All right, let's see. It may be a tie for me personally. I think it's going to be a tie with the festive Bakewells and this ice one. I just think that I'm a fan of the ice more. Uh... Which one do you like more, guys? Let me know, but God damn, we're going to steal it. Um, we got to say, though, Mr. Kipling does make exceedingly good cakes, guys. They don't disappoint. Morrison's, was that was our first time trying out some Morrison's. I don't believe we've tried any of those, um, but they were really good as well. So I'm pretty uh, impressed. I'm pretty impressed with mince pies, bake wells, um, I had a friend of mine show me like the Isle of Miss, Mr. Kipling's products. Dudes, there's like so many products. I mean, like it would be hard to make like a, a, a top five list because they seem like they got like 30 plus different products, guys. So we have a lot to be trying out. And um, yeah, these haven't disappointed yet, guys. So just wanted to um, say my thoughts. Probably going to go with a tie with the festive Bakewells and the mince pies. Of uh, the iced ones, guys, and then the third one, the six deep filled mince pies were good too. They were all good, really not bad. So I'm gonna say right now these don't last more than two days in my household right now because I'm just gonna rip these uh, past past this recording, guys. So just thanks so much for watching. Um, we'll see you next time. We have a lot more to try out. Uh, we will be trying out some tea very soon so i'm excited for that one because uh yeah we got to get our taste buds trying out tea so hope to see you soon thank you so much for watching happy and healthy for the new year's best wishes always from the kids see you next time peace